Hi. Um, it's good to see all of you. I'm trying something new this week with my Tuesday tips. Derek Bell introduced me to TouchCast, so uh, please bear with me while I attempt to share my Tuesday tips this way. Um, if you'd prefer, I also have the attachment so you can download and go ahead and read it. This week, my Tuesday tips are about literature circles. So literature circles are small discussion groups um, based on choice of book or genre. Um, within these discussion groups, each member has a specific role or responsibility to help aid in the discussion group. And um, everyone comes to the, the group prepared, ready to go with notes so that they can perform their job. Let's talk a little bit about getting started with literature circles. So as I mentioned earlier, usually students choose their own books. However, teachers may aid in this choice if curriculum is not available um, for enough choices or if you need that choice to be in a particular content area, area or if you'd like them to read a particular genre. Different groups read different books. Kids use written or drawn notes to guide both their reading and discussion. They may have reader's response notebooks. They may use graphic organizers, um, student-generated questions. There are many different techniques to aid in this discussion. I also have information on student fishbowl discussions or Socratic seminar, which can be used with elementary students as well to help aid in that discussion. So if you'd like more information in that area, I would be happy to share that. Um, and very importantly, the teacher serves as a facilitator or guide not the classroom teacher, not a group member. So you're there to help guide discussion. And if you just touch on my Tuesday tips, it will take you to my, directly to my link to read more about them. Laura Candler has aligned literature circles with the Common Core. So again, if you touch on this document, it will take you right to... Um, to where she has her docu document and you can read a little bit more about the Common Core. But she starts down in kindergarten and literature circles are, are good for every elementary grade and of course into middle school and high school as well. So you're welcome to explore that. As I mentioned earlier, usually literature circles have different roles and that just helps give every student responsibility and helps move the discussion along. So here are some sample roles brought to you by Read, Write, and Think. There's the discussion director, vocabulary enricher, literary luminary, and checker. I'm just going to touch on the vocabulary enricher because I feel that that ties in with the word walls that we talked about last week. So you can add that voc the vocabulary that they find, the interesting words, to a collective word wall. Um, students could have their own word collectors. They could be added into their reader's response notebook, however you would like to do that to help expand their vocabulary. Another piece of literature circles is students usually self-evaluate. So here's a rubric students can use to evaluate themselves. And of course, as a classroom instructor, you may use this as well for evaluation. And as you scroll further down, there's a group self-assessment form. So groups can use this um, to discuss how well their group did, what did they need to do better next time, what did they do well, and some follow-up questions for discussion. I'm going to pull my Tuesday tips up one more time. Um, down at the bottom, I have some other assessment links that you may be interested in. So there is a self assessment link down here um, where students may um, just fill out a self-assessment just based on um, their own progress and there's also an online self-reflection available for use and then again the self-reflection rubric that we talked about so thank you for your time thank you for being patient with me as I explore TouchCast let me know if you have any questions and I'll look forward to talking with you next week thank you